Hey everyone, this is Kat, and I'm actually going to be redoing my video on how to enable testing cheats in Sims Medieval. Although my old video will still be up, I will go in and modify the description so it gives the link to this new video. But one of the biggest problems that I've seen is that when people tell the file to save as, it prompts them saying that it's a read-only file. So apparently, I forgot one important step, just in case that happens. So, we're gonna just redo it. And the first thing you need to do is find your Sims Medieval icon. Mine's on the desktop. I'm gonna tell it to open file location. And I'm going to click the Sims Medieval. And we're gonna go into game data. I think that's where that shared non-packaged any we need the commands dot any file so I'm gonna cut that file and just paste it here on my desktop because you cannot edit it while it's there so it's going to prompt and prompt you saying you'll need to provide administrator permission to move this file you can only be on an administrative account I'm gonna tell it to continue and you see the files there. So now I'm going to open up the file. Now you'll see that mine is already enabled. But we're going to right click the file, click on properties, and then down underneath, make sure it's on the general tab. And then if you look down here, your read only may be checked. So you want to uncheck that, click apply, click OK. Now you may edit and save the file. So you're going to go in and your testing cheats enabled will actually be have a zero. You want it to be a one. So you're going to change that to a one. Now keep in mind I, this could damage your entire save file so you may want to back everything up. If you need to know how to back up all your saved files or your games please let me know and I will be glad to tell you how to back everything up which is a very simple step so it is important that you do that before you mess with this file because this file could crash the entire game so now well once you have that change you'll go down to save as and you'll save it underneath the same name. I'll just tell it yes. And then you'll close it out and you'll cut that file and put it right back in the exact location which go to you'll just click on the uh, Sims Medieval right there at the top click game data, go to shared, non-packaged, any and paste. You want to hit continue once it prompts that. And then close it out and your testing cheats will be enabled and some of the cheats like raising the hunger bars in the game and some of those cheats will now be enabled for you. And unlike Sims 3, you do not have to do this every time. It's a permanent change. Um, if you ever want to turn it off, just go in there and change that number to a zero using the same exact steps. So, I hope that this video has helped you. And hopefully, um, if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. If you like my video, please feel free to hit that thumbs up, share it with your friends, and subscribe to my channel for more updates. And look for, if you play World of Warcraft, then look for my next video to be... Look for my next video to be on Zygor's Professions Guide. So, I hope you all have a wonderful evening, and thank you for watching.